After years of fruitless dialogue, the Tibetan issue came to global prominence in the lead up to the 2008 Beijing Olympics. We cannot accept uh, the violation of human rights in, in Tibet and, and, uh, and, and we want to give a signal to the Chinese government that uh, Tibet should be free, uh, should be autonomous and the Dalai Lama should come back to, to Tibet. Western governments urge the Chinese central government to reopen dialogue with the Dalai Lama's envoys. China needs to be open and transparent about Tibet uh, so far as the international community is concerned, but it also needs to engage in a positive and constructive uh, good faith dialogue with the Dalai Lama and his representative. The European Parliament had asked EU leaders to boycott the opening ceremony unless China opened talks with the Dalai Lama. EU President José Manuel Barroso had a constructive meeting in Beijing with Hu Jintao, President of the People's Republic of China. They are ready to discuss everything except sovereignty over Tibet. And so if the concern of the Dalai Lama is, as he has always stated, uh, the respect for cultural identity, religious identity and autonomy uh, inside China, I believe, I believe there is real room for a dialogue. So um, anyway, uh, I think everybody recognizes that this is an important step uh, and a very important one. Uh, I'm particularly happy that uh, this was announced uh, today and I'm encouraged by those positive developments. But of course, this issue is a very, very difficult one. We cannot expect uh, let's say, uh, breakthroughs um, uh, immediate, but I think we should encourage, we should encourage this kind of dialogue. The Dalai Lama's envoy had high-level talks with the Chinese central government in the southern city of Shenzhen near Hong Kong and returned feeling optimistic. All very candid, we had very candid discussions. How would you describe the talks? Uh, positive, constructive, um, a, a first step? It's always, I think, a good first step. But the further the Olympic torch travelled around the world, the more passionate the protesters became. The Olympic game, right from the beginning, we fully support. Uh, so Olympic torch is part of that. The over billion Chinese brothers and sisters really feel proud of it. We must respect that. Therefore, we should not disturb that. Despite the Dalai Lama's pleas for calm, the protests and demonstrations continued around the world. When the Olympic torch came closer to Tibet, tensions boiled over. Tibetans staged an anti-Chinese government protest and were met with the heavy hand of the Chinese police force. As far as we know, at least a few hundred people killed in different parts of the Tibetan area uh, after 10th of March. Now, at least a few thousand arrested. The Chinese government was unapologetic for their use of force. Following the 2008 Beijing Olympics, talks between the Chinese central government and the Dalai Lama's envoy made no progress.